Boom. So our next comedian is a very, very funny guy. You're gonna love him. You can uh, see he's got two extra shows. Uh, give him a, 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 a talk to him about it. He's got two other shows that he does too. Two great shows. This is Billy Bazaar. How y'all doing, Woodies? I'm good. That'll be louder than that. Anyway, uh, everybody had a good Christmas? I'll stand on this side for you. Nobody had a good Christmas? All Jews or? Yeah! <laughs> um, I used to really love the holidays. I used to love looking in the eyes of people you bought a gift for and you really went that extra mile. And now when they open the present, they look at you with their big eyes and say, do you have the receipt? Which pisses me off. So now I give hookers and blow for Christmas. Because you can't return that shit. I want to be on your list. Woo! You already are. Awesome. Um, video games are a big gift for kids. And my girlfriend's son was playing one of those war games, Call of Warfare Modern Halo 4 Purple. And I said, could you please hurry the hell up? I want to watch football. And he looked at me and he said, come on, man. You know watching me play this game is like, you know, watching one of those action movies. And I was like, really? Remind me to rent that movie about the retarded commando who dies every three minutes tomorrow. <laughs> and then I realized when I went home, I already had all Vin Diesel's movies on DVD, so. <laughs> See, last year, I'm, I'm glad 2012 is over. I found out I had diabetes last year. Which I wasn't surprised because it runs in my family. Which is also ironic because nobody runs in my family. And let's see, what else happened? Oh, uh, I'm a fat guy, and I was sad that they stopped making Twinkies. Hostess closed down. Sucks. I know. I did hear that a, a firm in Alabama is thinking about buying, and they're going to bring Twinkies back out. Yay. But they're going to spell it with three Ks. <laughs> and I was also sad that they closed the Wonder Bread factory down. And I remember driving home from the hospital from work and smelling that fresh baked bread every morning. And now all I smell is that after fuck funk from that cheap ass escapade strip club. <laughs> but it's okay because there's still yeast involved. So. Really, that's what got you? The yeast joke? <laughs> see, uh, how many of y'all have Facebook, which is pretty much a rhetorical question nowadays? <laughs> Have you seen those posts about, if you like your mom, like this post, if you hate her, scroll down and ignore? <laughs> we had that shit growing up. We called it step on a crack, break your mother's back. And I can tell you right now, my mother still walks normal. And I took the shittiest roads home every day after school, and it didn't work. And on Mother's Day, I feel weird because everybody sends her mother's candy and gift cards and all that shit. And I'm at my mailbox mailing all the letter bombs I can fit. <laughs> I'm just, actually just kidding about that because she keeps changing her address, that bitch. Yeah. Let's see, what else? How many Walking Dead fans are out there? <laughs> I love that show. The only problem is I wish they would tell you who the fuck the Mexicans are that keep cutting the grass. <laughs> Even in the zombie apocalypse, the goddamn Mexicans just keep getting bigger and bigger. I think they're going to show up to a, a Home Depot, and they'll all be in there waiting. We need some zombies killed? Yeah! We got the lawnmowers? It'll be fucked up if we still make them have... Do you not have a green card? Get your ass out of here, beer. I uh, recently joined, I was broken up for a little while, and I joined plentyoffish.com. Holy shit. I mean, I'm not a small guy, but there are some big bitches on that site. <laughs> the admin got mad at me because I changed my headline to, we're going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> and there was, a, there was a lady on there who was blind, and her friend took a picture and posted her profile, and her headline said, I'm looking for Mr. Wright. She was blind, if you didn't get that joke at first. <laughs> Some of y'all are deaf, so. 
And then there was another one who said, I look like Rosie O'Donnell without makeup. That's all it said. Might as well just put on there, there's nothing to see here, ever. And I'm surprised that it's not a lesbian dating site. Because if you really think about it, plentyoffish.com, perfect, perfect advertisement. Snuggle all three of you. Then there was a, another lady, and this really is true, it's here in Oklahoma. That's where it says she lives. She's in a coma. And every month her friend updates her profile. So I, I messaged her. I said, why are you doing this? This woman's got brain damage. Really she said, well, when she wakes up, she'll be glad that all these people showed her attention. And I said, let me repeat to you. She has fucking brain damage. When she wakes up, she's going to want to play Go Fish, not Go on Plenty of Fish. Let's see what else happened last year. Oh, Jersey Shore got canceled forever. I still find it weird that None of those fucking ghoul trolls, Nutella-wearing fuckers from Nutella. Jersey. They're still alive, and it doesn't make sense. But it just goes to prove that AIDS, syphilis, gonorrhea, and everything else combined can send up to any natural disaster at all. Let's see. Rihanna and Chris Brown are getting another go-round. Love that joke. I still don't think that Chris Brown hit her. I think he just forgot the safe word. <laughs> that bitch is a freak. Sorry. Um, I watched, I was so excited to watch this movie Affliction the other day. And I was saddened to learn that it's not about douchebags who make t-shirts for other fucking douchebags. But it does star Nick Nolte. And it's about a troubled small town sheriff whose father abused him and drinks too much. So then I started realizing, well, I would make douchebag t-shirts for other douchebags if I grew up like that. I'm working on that joke, so that was good. I think that's almost it. Yep. Y'all been a great crowd? We got some really good comments coming up. Billy, you know them t-shirts really can be rough sometimes.